Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the uh, first week of December reads, start from the 1st to the 7th of uh, December 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of Cancer. So let's see what is coming up for Cancerians for the first week time of December. I will be adding messages from your person, plus I will also be adding oracle cards in this reading, so stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Cancerians, let's see what can you expect in the first week of December time coming up for you in your life. Let's see. <clears throat> let's begin. Wow, the fool. I just see you very happy, excited, a kind of a sense of freedom uh, to explore, to do whatever you desire to have to do in your life. I feel like, you know, um, it can be you uh, embarking on a new journey for yourself uh, in love, career, or, um, you know, in a home life situation. Maybe there is something um, that you're passionate about and you're going after that. Um, again, it can be in different areas of your life, but yes, I feel you. Uh, I feel that you are very excited to, to go about it. Um, For some of you, you might be pursuing uh, a love offer which might have been uh, made to you or you might be pursuing someone to offer them love. You might be traveling away from where you are living or maybe they will be traveling towards you as well to offer you the cup of love. So it can be that for some of you as well. Uh, let's see more cards here. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The magician underneath the deck we do have the five of wands i feel like you know your life could have become stagnant uh, lately maybe you have had a lot of uh, workload family pressure a lot of responsibilities you could not manage time to uh you know to take uh, to take out some time for yourself to to spare some time for yourself for the one that you love for the one uh, for, for your family as well i feel like you know that that you know um that stress that you are taking right now uh as you enter into the into the first week of uh, december i feel like you know that that stress is something that you would be breaking free from um you will be taking certain steps in your life which is going to help you basically have the time that you wanted to have for yourself pursue the connections that you wanted to pursue letting go of the responsibility or uh, stress and anything that was kind of you know uh, restricting your happiness in one way or the other I feel like, you know, for some reasons, uh, if, if there has been a person in your life that you are not able to give time to, and maybe you are not letting that person go either, I feel like, you know, you will be reaching out to that person. But if it's not your energy, it can be the energy of the person that you are dealing with as well. If they have been holding themselves back, I do see that they will be kind of, you know, giving into the connection. They will be coming forward with the... Um, with the with a message towards you um if uh, if they have been the one who stayed busy with a lot of things happening in their life they will be making some time for you for you for themselves uh and they will be approaching you they might have been kind of you know keeping you on hold for them as well and if that has been happening now is the time for you to get the reward of your being patient around this person i feel like you know they will be like um uh you know uh they will be coming in as a, as a surprise to you if that's the case because i do see you you might be kind of stressed right now uh around the situation that you're dealing with right now in your love life and then comes this person who might have kept you on weight and um they are ready to give into the connection to you um this person i feel like you know so, for some reasons this person had uh, This person never was, you know, ready to let you go, basically. Um, but something might have kind of, you know, ended the connection between the two of you. Maybe you stopped communicating. Maybe you stopped talking to each other. But now seems like, you know, they are making time for you. They are taking, making time for this connection. And uh, the stress that you are taking right now is going to go away in this week time as something surprisingly coming your way which is going to make you feel happy excited about your life overall let's see the messages coming from your person let's see what do they want you to know where it is that you're dealing with what are their love messages for you what do they want you to know 
I love you more than you love me. I just don't express. So this person could be somebody who has always uh, been like quiet around their feelings and emotions towards you. Uh, maybe they were not, you know, readily accepting it that they have love, feelings, emotions for you because they could not do much that time. But now is the time. This week is going to be the time where they will be ready to invest into this connection. Uh, they are setting themselves free from any, you know, um, self-imposed blocks or blocks that were that were like you know happening in their life because of the current circumstances that they were dealing with i feel like you know they are now ready and prepared and that's the reason they would be coming in so they might have never expressed their intention their love feelings but now they feel that they are ready and prepared to do so so they will be coming in uh and it's going to be a magical uh, moment when they arrive when they reach out because this is something very unexpected so it's going to be a beautiful surprise the fee uh sorry i feel the love i desire with you and only you this person really believes that you are the one and only one person um who makes them feel the love or the kind of love that they always desired for themselves like you know it's a you are that kind of a, um happiness to them emotional fulfillment to them uh they never felt this way for anyone else and they never you know think uh that anybody else in this world can bring them that kind of happiness that you bring to them so i feel like you know this person is really um very sure about you maybe they were not investing into the connection back then uh but now they want you and now, now they're ready to give uh, into the connection exactly uh how you want it to be right now maybe you're stressed but yes get ready and excited for this beautiful um you know magical moment coming your uh, coming in your life with your specific someone let's see one more message i pray affirm and believe we will be together again forever so this person really wants you to know that they definitely have been praying affirming that you and them are going to get back together and i feel like you know this week is going to be the time when you are going to hear from them for sure they might have been praying for it now maybe since you have been uh, very expressive in this condition maybe uh they have never been like that so maybe you do you always imagine or visualize or feel or perceive that they they might have like you know no love feelings emotion for you deep down they might have more connection uh, with you as compared to you have to them or with them on a spiritual level i feel like you know, this person has been praying and affirming that means they have always stick to you in their imaginations in their in their uh you know in their visualizations in their manifestation in their uh prayers and their affirmation they always had you and that all what they used to do uh, for themselves like you know but somehow they were not able to find time for you back then but now they will so let's see the oracle guidance there let's see what the oracle has to add to the read for you guys for this week time <clears throat> wisdom i feel like you know this person um this person is right now or has has been through maybe or maybe even right now when we are doing this read this person has been uh you know growing um mature their their and their knowledge their uh their expansion is definitely happening there within them uh there are certain things that they were not ready for uh back then but now they are i feel like you know this person has um this person could be somebody who's very intuitive somebody who's very much into esoteric knowledge as well i feel like you know this person is somebody who's um uh maybe they never let you know that they have a strong bond with the with the uh with their god uh with their with the universe with the angels with the spirit guides uh they do believe in all of it uh, more than maybe you do somehow whoever it is that you're dealing with i feel like you know they have been manifesting you if you have been trying to move on but you could not it could be because of them as well again they might have been manifesting you and maybe you feel that it's um uh you know uh, maybe you never felt that coming from them but that has been happening there uh, secretly for sure uh let's see more uh oracle guidance here in regards to your connection with your specific someone for this week time it's time to take action for some of you i feel like you know um this person is uh is uh is like um going to take action towards you which uh which they have which they should have taken in the past 
but somehow they could not but now you will see them taking some actions so again be prepared now if we talk about you having the wisdom and you having to take some action i feel like you know you really need to understand that this stressful energy that you are having right now around your love life that needs to go you need to uh connect yourself to the divine so you uh release the stress that you are taking and start believing in the divine timing around it now uh, if that's you, if uh, that stress is happening for you, now it's very important for you to understand one more thing. The action that you need to take is to make sure that you incorporate meditations, affirmations, prayers in everyday routine so you stay positive and at peace from within as well in regards to this connection uh, and the love life overall. Let's see uh, one more oracle card there. Let's see what else do we have coming up for you for this uh, week time. You deserve love. You are lovable. Now, for some of you, you might have been having, some, you know, some sort of low self-esteem because they have been like maybe absent from from the picture. Um, you might have been thinking or having negative thoughts, which is definitely causing you to stress. It's time for you to let that all go and start believing that you are lovable. This person is going to be coming back to you whenever they are ready. And that's exactly what is happening here. I do see them returning towards you uh, once they have something to offer to you. So just stay patient, positive around this person, this connection that you have with your specific someone. Stop obsessing about, uh, you know, uh, what is not working well or maybe what you cannot see working right now for you because of the stress that you are taking. Maybe you are not able to see what is happening there uh, behind the curtains. So maybe you need to start becoming positive around the situation. Um, start believing that whatever delay, whatever that is happening is taking you one step closer to what you have asked for. And so it shall be. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you um, for this uh, first week of December time. And yeah, if uh, it helped you, do like, share and subscribe. And if you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, you can always check the description box for further details on that. So yeah, till I do the next read, take care. Bye.